Hey y'all, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. On today's project, we're going to do a little experiment on the F-150. Let's get started. So this F-150 is a flex fuel vehicle and it will run on E85. Now, I've never ran an E85 in a vehicle. I had several tuned Mustangs, but I always just ran 93, never ran E85 in any of those vehicles. So today I'm gonna to put some E85 in the truck and I'm gonna kind of document how it reacts, what kind of results I get, how it runs, those kind of things, just in case there's anybody else out there who thinks they might wanna try an E85 in their vehicle. I'm gonna flip this up to show you fuel economy. Right now I'm getting 14.8. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, of course this truck is lifted and bigger tires and tuned and all that so it doesn't get near as good a gas mileage as uh, a stock vehicle. I think this got about 18 whenever I bought, first bought it when it was new. So here's my plan for this. I'm going to reset my uh, trip and fuel monitor on the truck. It has two of them. Uh, one of them shows we're getting about 15 miles per gallon. I'm going to leave that on there. The other one, I'm going to reset it, check the fuel economy. And uh, usually with flex fuel, fuel, you're going to get less fuel economy than you would if you run 93 uh, octane fuel. So I'm going to track that for a few hundred miles and I can let you guys know what kind of fuel economy I get with it. Um, I drive a lot, about 120 miles a day, so should be able to get a pretty accurate uh, fuel economy. So I'm down to 63 miles to empty, so I'll have a uh, pretty much full tank of E85 and uh, it's only just a little bit of 93 left. Now right here, E85 usually runs somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to 50 cents cheaper than mid-grade or 89 octane, which is what I run in the truck. Uh, the truck is tuned, by the way, by five-star tuning. And uh, so I have consulted with them and they said E85 is fine. Actually, E85 is a higher octane fuel than just your regular 87, 89, or 93. I'm not sure what it equates to. Um, but anyway, you can always go up. When you're tuned, you can always go up in octane, but you can't go down uh, necessarily. Uh, not past what the uh, vehicle is actually tuned for. So let's put some corn in this thing. Plus chocolate makes coffee twice as nice. Come inside to create your own peppermint mocha today and get two times the All right, first start up. Set my fuel monitor. All right. So it's one thing important to uh, keep in mind if you're thinking about running E85 in a vehicle. Make sure you check with your manufacturer, your owner's manual, or a lot of times there's a sticker on the uh, fuel lid. Make sure you can run E85 in your vehicle. Uh, some can't, so you need to be aware of that. So the first difference right off the bat was the price. It was 291, and that's not the cheapest in my area, but this place was on the way home. 291 per gallon, and uh, mid-grade was uh, 321 per gallon. So it's 30 cents uh, per gallon cheaper. The first
first thing you should notice is more power. Um, the ECU in your vehicle will make adjustments to the tune, different parameters in the tune. Um, and one of the biggest ones is timing. And uh, uh, your engine has a knock sensor on it that can detect spark knock. And spark knock is a bad thing. Uh, you can burn pistons and stuff like that. So the computer will pull timing out to keep that from happening. If it senses uh, spark knock, it'll, it'll pull timing out. With E85, you can run, uh, the, the ECU can run way more timing uh, than it can with regular octane fuel and uh, give you more power. This may take a few hundred miles or so. Everything adjusts all the way, uh, but it should start making adjustments immediately uh, in order to be able to run the fuel. Uh, but it'll be a little while before we get the full effect. But uh, definitely uh, saving 30 cents per gallon, that was pretty good. All right, guys, a few days later, just hit 100 miles. And as you can see, we're getting 12.2 miles per gallon. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is it drives much smoother. Um, the power delivery is smooth, more smooth. Before, uh, sometimes you would end up with uh, kind of a herky-jerky kind of deal. And uh, it just wasn't smooth. But it's much smoother with the 85. A little over 200 miles now. Um, it's not really changed much. Still at 12 miles per gallon-ish. And uh, runs great. No issues. Alright guys. That's going to probably do it for this one. Ran the whole tank through there. And uh, may or may not put more in it. Not sure. Um, I'm going to put some numbers up on the screen uh, for whether or not um, it's actually cheaper uh, to run E85 considering the fact that your fuel economy goes down. Um, it looks like from what I can figure uh, about 50 cents. If you can save 50 cents then it's worth it. Uh, otherwise, it's probably not worth it as far as fuel economy and money spent goes. Um, as far as performance goes, uh, it seems to be worth it. Um, I think uh, it probably cost me about $3 more to use E85, that's per tank, per fill up, uh, than uh, if I use mid grade. So, um, the way the truck drives and performs is is really nice on the 85 so it, you know for three bucks more maybe it's worth it for me I don't know still trying to decide that so I appreciate you guys joining me on this one hopefully this will help you out if you're considering running e85 in your truck or car um, like I said make sure that your manufacturer that your car has been manufactured to be able to run e85 if it hasn't uh, it's not going to work. You're going to have a bad time. So make sure you check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.